This is Twit. Well, let's talk about Hydra. What? Can you want to give us the thirty thousand foot view? Sure. So I, I think the, the I don't know, maybe forty thousand view you started with is is, is pretty accurate. It's a distributed processing system. Uh, it can run uh, jobs or tasks of various sorts, and usually those uh, those jobs and tasks uh, ingest log files uh, and either spit out uh, some sort of post process log file or um, some some index tree that, that summarizes and aggregates the data. So you can say how many if it was a like web Apache log type things, how many uh, views of this URL were there over this time period, or how many uh, unique IP addresses requested this resource, um, things of that nature. So how did Hydra get started? What was the problem that was being solved? Cool. So we had a, a uh, we at Addis had a previous uh, suite of products that were um, little online web widgets. So you could you had like a little flash widget on your site, uh, and you could like share that that uh, widget, and it would show up in someone else's blog or site or whatever. Uh, might be used for something like NBA player cards or something like that. And that was, it was we were a small startup, so we had sort of uh, thrown everything together uh, with with whatever worked. And part of what worked uh, for a while was like one one SQL database somewhere that had like a PHP API talking to it. And sort of the uh, the, the the story or legend goes that, that one day back in 2006 or so, uh, you know, someone did it was that that you know database started getting a lot slower. Uh, and more or less broke uh, Friday night, and our um, people sort of went off for the weekend uh, and sort of threw together a custom Java solution to support what we were doing at the time, uh, and that was what was running Monday morning. Wow, wow. I mean, this is, uh, this is a more sophisticated version of the old uh, page hit counters that I used to put on my website. Yeah, so uh, the, this old product, it would, uh, instead of, say, uh, just a page hit counter, it would be more... Um, uh, a widget with maybe um, like a, a feed of your blog or a recent podcast or something like that, and then it would have some integrated uh, sharing functionality uh, that people could use to share that onto their blog or, or feeds and things like that. Uh, and the sort of interesting thing there was that each widget had a unique ID, and there were there were lots of them uh, as there was a both a unique ID for each widget and each uh, placement of the widget. Uh, and that that you know that those tuples quickly multiplied together to be uh, relatively large numbers. Now, the, the first thing I thought when I started reading through the documentation for this is that you know, this is similar to Hive. Uh, my previous client was basically playing with Hive to do some uh, data analytics of their voluminous amount of data for their you know hits during a day, 20 million hits a day, or no, 2 billion hits a day. So that's a significant number of data reductions to do. Now, but it, it's not quite like Hive, is it? It's something more real-time-ish to it, isn't it? Yeah, so I think, I think the, the biggest similarity um, with Hive is that usually... Um, and I, I should preface this with saying, like, uh, I've used Hadoop. We have some, like, uh, proof of concept Hadoop uh, um, clusters we, we've played with and done various things. You can write Hadoop files from Hydra, uh, but I'm not an expert by any means. Um, but anyway, so with, with Hive, um, you tend to have, like, a bunch of files, and you've written these uh, various queries and UDFs and whatnot to sort of give you a view into that data that data analysts can then go and answer, you know, all of the interesting questions that they have. Um, where I think Hydra would differ is it can, it can do those things um, too. It can build a bunch of, as I said, like trees that index and summarize the data. Uh, but I think it would be relatively unusual uh, for like a, a, a website with like an analytics console to like be making uh, queries directly to Hive and expecting responses um, in a reasonable amount of time. But that's, that's the, the sort of typical canonical use case for Hydra.